Welcome and hello. Today's question is, what is Rico and not the hair shampoo kind? Also, is Rico a crime in and of itself? Rico, R-I-C-O, stands for Racketeering Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, not you do know the CO in RICO stands for criminal organization, right? What is RICO law then? Well, it's basically a law created so that if I go up to Dorothy and I point a gun at Toto saying, you need to go kill Mickey Mouse or else I'll take out your little dog Toto too. <clears throat> then I can be charged with murder, even though I didn't pull the trigger. Dorothy did. This was because a mafia boss would do this all the time, with all sorts of crimes unrelated to fictional mouse murders, and were essentially untouchable, allowing the criminal organization to grow and only underlings be caught and go to jail, which did of course little to stop these kinds of rampant crimes. And then it moved away from just criminal organizations and can be used to apply to any sufficiently influential group like political organizations, criminal organizations still, and corporations. Because, yeah, well, the government sort of saw that they're also open to corruption. So why is this important to understand? Well, we have one former president who's being charged with part of those charges being related to the RICO statutes. And then there's a current president that the Republicans are attempting to impeach based solely upon RICO statutes. So these cases, although sounding similar, are very importantly different. But to know more, we'll have to dive into what's needed for a RICO case to actually move forward. To charge someone with the RICO statutes, you have to be able to establish that they are part of and coordinated with an organization that committed multiple crimes that fall under racketeering. Racketeering crimes are things like gambling, arson, murder, robbery, murder for hire, obstruction of justice, money laundering, bankruptcy fraud, terrorism, and a lot more. That's just the first step, though. And in most instances, you have to find two of these what's called predicate offenses that an individual engaged with in a 10-year time period. Then you can add RICO statutes on top of that. You can't start with RICO and work your way down to those crimes because you actually need evidence of that participation in criminal activities, a pattern of it, and establishing a connection potentially with that organization, criminal or otherwise, to make sure that RICO law actually applies. For Trump, you can see lawyers have built from the bottom up appropriately, whether you believe he's guilty or not. They've been finding evidence of a pattern of criminal activity that falls under racketeering activity before even bringing RICO charges into play. They can answer this question. What is the crime, sir? But unfortunately for Republicans, they can't seem to do the same against Biden. RICO is not a crime. It is a category. What oh, is no. the It's the category crime? of crimes that you're then charged You under have charges. A long hundred You have charges. Yeah. Sir, please you want me to name, name the exact statute sir, under RICO. Yes. Oh. My word of advice, if you are commenting you're going to be voting based upon these ideas or you're making a video on YouTube about these, at least don't call someone else an idiot. Like you're an idiot. I'm sorry. You're in New York. How do you not know what RICO is? When you don't even know what RICO stands for or what it means and how it's used. Do please just do a little bit of research.